Hey kiddos, it's JJ. I'm back again. Um, haven't been around for a little while. I'm going to be posting a bunch of stuff in the next uh, two days. I was out uh, on a little quickie vacation with my family back home at the lake. Um, this is going to be a multi-review kind of thing. Um, I'm going to build a super micro. That super micro frame is going to be the Fly Egg 130. Ooh, I'm psyched. It's going to be so cool. Here's what's going to be in it. Um, it's going to be cool. So this is going to be kind of an overview of a bunch of components. Um, first we're going to go over the frame and up. all the components I'm going to show you here are what I'm going to use in the build. So the Fly Egg 130 comes with two sets of props. King Kong props. Um, these are those tri-bladed bigger dudes. What are these things? Yeah. Um, yippee. Here's the base plate. For the Flyag 130. The Flyag 130, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this just because it's pretty much the exact same thing as the Flyag 100, but um, bigger, obviously. So, uh, exact same frame. I'm pretty sure it's even the same thickness. 2.5. Yep. Um, so, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. That's space frame. Um, then it comes with some prop guards, which I won't be using and motor guards, which I will be using two on the front. I don't put two on the back usually. Uh, the frame type, and in case you're not familiar, this is a Fly Egg 100. It's just the 130 is a little bigger. Um, again, individually packaged bags. Uh, very cool how they, I'm so impressed with these Fly Egg frames. I, I absolutely love them. Um, this has, or had, a little LED in it. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Uh, little LED dude, which I probably won't use. Um, comes with some zip strips and rubber bands, which is cool, but I don't usually use those. Um, so that's the flag frame that we're going to be using. It goes, like I said, I'll put a video link right here that you can put the, you can look at the my review of the flag 100. I go a little bit more in depth with it. Um, I'm not going to reiterate that. So here's the guts we're gonna put in this guy. This thing's gonna be bad to the bone. I'm actually short a controller, a flight controller that's a micro. Uh, I ended up using it in, um, what did I use it in? Oh, this piece of work, which I haven't done the flight footage for yet, but the uh, flight controller this came with, the kit, this is a King Kong. Um, it's, uh, yeah, the 95 GT. The flight controller is crap, so I put my Omnibus F4 Micro that I was using, gonna use for this build, in here. So now this guy's got Omnibus, and it's cool. I still have not flown it. I will do that tomorrow. Anyway, off track. So I took a Kakute F3. Uh, this used to be one of my larger drones, and I cut it down a little bit. Sorry about that. I had sorry about that. I had an interruption. Um, so I cut it down a little bit. You can see I actually cut the ends off uh, where the mounting holes work. We're not gonna be using those. But if you look at how this flying frame goes together, um, I'm gonna put my ESC here. I'm gonna rotate this negative 90 because normally this flight controller would sit in here like this. I'm gonna rotate it so the USB comes out the back and it's nice and form fitting. No problem. I'll just double sticky tape it on there on top of the flight controller or ESC. So there you go. That's what comes with the Flyag 130. So pretty pumped about that. The Kakute F3, no OSD, but eh, that's okay. It'll get me by for the day. For the video trans, uh, the FPV system, again, I did a review on this setup as well. Teeny tiny little camera. This thing's so cool. It's got a little microphone on it. Um, says NTSC, but it is PAL. I almost guarantee it. Um, and I think it's a 600 TVL. I can't remember. I believe it is. Anyway, five volts. Very cool. My uh, switchable transmitter, which is a 2550 200 milliwatt, I believe. Uh, love this thing. Very small. It'll go in there just fine. Um, let's double check. Make sure I'm still right. 2550 200. I am right. So that's going in there for the all in one transmitter. This is going in for the camera. Rock and roll. Too bad we won't have OSD, but um, I probably will end up putting a different flight controller in it in a couple weeks anyway. 
For the ESC, this bad boy, this is the Hack RC. I love that name, very cool. Uh, 15 amp all-in-one BL Heli S runs D-Shot 600. Uh, looks like it's made pretty well. Um, this will go onto the board, the frame first, and then I'll be mounting the flight controller over the top of it. And then the VTX somewhere in the frame. Um, it's got one of these great little connectors for your power and your motor control. Uh, the flight controller that I put in that King Kong would have gone perfect with this. That's what I was waiting for, but c'est la vie. So I'll be cutting this off and solder, hard soldering it to the Kakute. You've got, if you look, I don't know if you can see it right there, it says negative B1234. So there are no instructions with this. This literally came in a bag like this. Um, so you got your negative, your battery voltage, I'm assuming, and then one, two, three, and four. So we'll take the battery voltage and that'll go into the Kakute. So we'll have our beeper for the low voltage alarm and lost, lost uh, beeper. Um, so that's those. Finally, for the motors, we're putting in Racer Star BR1104s. So 1104 motors. I did recently, what did I put these on? I put them on something. What is it? Anyway. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. Totally having a brain fart. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I put them on my toad. I flew them a little bit. Not really. I haven't, I haven't beat on this too much, uh, but I will. Um, so, here's the uh, motor. Got four of these, obviously, so let's see what happens. There she is. Um, good little motor so far. They hold up well, anyway. Uh, this system, I'll probably put smaller props on it and actually run 3S, just because I have a ton of 3S batteries. Um, but yeah, so not much to be said about these. They seem to be pretty good little motors for the price. However, the mounting screws they give you with these are a joke. They're so flippin' small. Unless your frame is one millimeter thick, they ain't gonna work. So, just letting you know that ahead of time. You will not be using the screws that come with these to mount them to the frame. But they do come with prop screws, so that's cool. So, give me 30 seconds and I'm gonna put a uh, uh, radio link receiver in there, obviously. And that's really about it. So, uh, 30 seconds and I will come back with a completed product. Hopefully it works. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, it's been 30 seconds. Bam! There it is. Uh, the Fly Egg 130 build turned out fairly nice. Um, I ended up not using the King Kong props that came with this. I ended up using gem fans right off the bat, uh, but they are the same size as the, uh, as the King Kongs that came with it. They are... Now those are the King Kongs. Oh, I'm sorry. They are the King Kongs. My bad. Uh, the 2840 props. I just ordered a bunch of them actually by accident. So I put some cooler looking ones on there. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. The, uh, what do they call this? Hack RC, which I thought was a unique name. Um, a little bit of a blob there. The Hack RC 15 amp all-in-one ESC running D-Shot 600. I got my receiver buried underneath there. I've got the um, Kakute F3 in here and my 2550 200 milliwatt transmitter right here. Um, set on 50 milliwatts. So antennas coming out. Uh, all in all, a very clean build. I like it. I did move this bar. There was a bar back here. I moved that bar down here just so I'd have a little bit of room for my antennas. Um, put XT30 on there, beeper on the bottom. Uh, all in all, it looks pretty nice. I like it. it like I said, it's I pretty much, it's identical to the uh, the Fly Egg 100. The only difference is obviously the arms are longer on this guy. That is the only difference between these two. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to run this with 2S. I'm going to try not to be too stupid and break it on the first fly. Um, but we're just going to take it a little gradual, put it on 2S, and later on I'm sure that I will fly this on A3. So anyway, uh, we are using the Racer Star BR-1104s. Um, 
yeah, and that's about it. So uh, let's see what the DVR footage looks like. Stay tuned. And we're back. Um, as you saw in the video, interestingly enough, man, those are some loud bugs out there. Um, I got two flips of death on this thing. I'm not real sure, but I'm pretty positive it's my PIDs. Um, all I did was change the D. I did not change the P and the I from stock, and I think that's probably what the problem was. But as you see, uh, it was a pretty harsh crash, actually, and it, uh, it survived fairly well. The only problem is the frame did delaminate right here pretty bad, but it was a pretty nasty crash, too. Uh, and that is something that is synonymous with the fly egg frames. I just don't think they apply enough pressure when they do these uh, these uh, carbon layups. But either way, if you're not flying like an idiot above asphalt and cement, they'll hold up just fine. So other than that, um, before I say anything else, no damage, didn't even break, break a prop. Scuffed one. Um, but other than that, I think it flew really nice. I don't want to go too crazy with it until I figure out why I have my flip of death. Um, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that's a PID setting issue. Uh, and it was only doing it when I did slow rolls, not fast ones. So pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, uh, on a little 2S, uh, the battery I was flying on, <laughs> which I crashed, uh, was this guy. It's a 550-8160C uh, Ganang. And uh, a little 2S, and it flew pretty nice. I was I was pretty happy with it for being on a little 2S. So anyway, if you have any questions on this build, uh, this is not a fly egg all in one or you know uh, ready to fly. This is this was a build. And um, if you have any questions on it, please let me know, and uh, I'll change the pids and I'll get some more flight footage up later on this. So until then, keep shiny side up, have fun, keep flying, subscribe, subscribe.